This is the Commodities and Recycling Report brought to you by Ben Lee, the industry leader in roll-off trailers and open-top scrap trailers, as well as Raleigh and Goldsmore Metal Recycling, the leaders in North Carolina for scrap metal, cardboard, electronics, and junk cars. Due to our travel schedule, this is a special Friday Commodities Report, July 31st, 2015, instead of our normal Monday report. My name is Greg Brown, President and CEO of the companies. While last week was a very bad week for the recycling industry, this week, frankly, was no better. U.S. steel production came up a bit in the past week, which is part of the continued increase that has gone on since the April low of a few months ago. But steel production remains well below last year and well below their historic highs. This is due to the flood of finished goods steel coming into the U.S. and, frankly, the lack of demand. On the positive side, the oil rig count that was released this afternoon has risen for four of the past five weeks. Oil rigs use a major amount of steel. Oil prices have come down a lot in recent weeks, so this increase could be short-lived. As for bad news, China remains weak, their stock market remains in turmoil, and since the U.S. economy is pretty good versus Europe and China, the U.S. dollar is strong. The strong dollar hurts commodity prices, which are, pace, which are based in U.S. dollars. This chart shows steel prices near multi-year lows as of today. But things are getting worse. We believe when steel trades next week, it will be at least $20 per gross ton lower than it is today. The lowering of scrap prices had many scrap yards lower their prices in the past week. It will surely slow incoming flows and put pressure on scrap yards in the coming months. Copper is going nowhere fast and in fact continues going down slowly. While somewhat stabilizing in the past few days, copper hit a new six plus year low in the last week. We see no reason that copper prices will increase anytime soon, especially with copper inventories hitting a new high for the year. See this graph. Aluminum is also just about at a six year low in the past week. There is a positive sign though for aluminum prices. Inventory levels for aluminum are at six plus year lows, so there could soon be some stabilization of aluminum prices in the, in the coming weeks. There was not a lot of major industry news this week other than how bad things are. The major downturn in steel in the past few months and next month combined with new lows for copper and aluminum are going to put huge stress on scrap yards that are mostly retail. Sadly, more closings will follow. On the economy, things remain okay, but not great. One of the key issues that remains a drag on the economy is U.S. housing. New housing is less than half of what it was in 2005. Also, this week was released that car sales are near record levels. They are also near record long life ages for the cars, now at 11 and a half years. On the positive side, oil has come down a bit in recent weeks, and we are seeing some major drops in gasoline prices. This will help consumers around the world and give them more money to spend on items that could help commodity prices. For current steel prices and copper and aluminum, please call us in Raleigh at 919-828-5426 and in Goldsboro, 731-5600. With that, we all hope all have a safe and profitable week. Tune in next week for the Commodities and Recycling Report. This is Greg Brown.